Hello, my name is Jesus Medina and I'm the creator of Cable Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I'm also the owner of Sea Breeze Fitness, which is located in Costa Mesa, California, which we're right now recording this. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys our uh, Team Wars, um, uh, one, one of our workouts, that is, which is basically, for the most part, calisthenics. Alright, we are going to be using a medicine ball, you guys don't have to have a medicine ball, it can be a simple basketball, anything, as long as you can hold it. You have a kettlebell, better, uh, so there's going to be some exercise, you're going to have to use your imagination to use a prop, utilize a proper uh, creativity to basically modify the, the workouts, and you'll see what I mean by that. Um, you can use a dumbbell, whatever it can be, a book, anything that's somewhat heavy, but the best thing would be a, a medicine ball. Um, because you'll need it to do some of the exercises in certain ways that you can't do it with anything other than a ball. Anyhow, so I got my friend here, Warrior Steven, today, part of Team War as well. Um, we're actually going to do our training right now. This is more of our warm up, our resistance training workout before we do the hand and eye coordination and f uh, finish it off with the techniques and drilling the, the form and stuff like that. Um, so, like I said, we're going to need a uh, medicine ball. I'm going to be facing you guys. Uh, Warrior Steven is going to be facing to the right to the GoPro camera that we're trying out today. Uh, so that way you can get a side view from this camera and then the GoPro, the GoPro will get a side view of mine for the most part. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is pick up the ball. We're going to do what I call Olympic circles. Alright, keyboards are circles. Alright, you're going to stand the sumo stands really wide, really low. Alright, you're going to try to squeeze the ball the more than to cup it, alright, so squeeze the ball, that way you activate chest, biceps, all kinds of other muscles, lats, this one's mainly for obliques and lats, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of chest and a lot of core, alright, let's go ahead and get ready, wind it up at first, go up fast, down smooth, every single, everything is always up fast, down smooth, explode out hard, uh, find the peace, find the balance, here we go, ready, and stick with four, and one, two, three, four, choose the direction, one, two, Three, four, front to back. One, two, three, four. Choose the direction. One, two, three, four. Pretend there's a pot in front of you and stir it. One, two, three, four. Keep your butt slow. One, two, three, four. Twist to either side and spin it. One, two, three. Four, switch the direction on that same side. One, two, three, four. Switch to the opposite direction and go. One, two, three, four. Switch the direction on that same side to balance it out. Two, three, four. All right, put it down. All right, so the first thing you want to do, you don't want to stand still. All right, think about the water hose effect. All right, if a water hose is on, all right, the water flows through. If you crinch it, the water starts coming out. If you open it, water flows go through it, uh, through it again. Same thing with your veins. You don't want to keep that water hose effect here because you're letting the lactic acid just sit there. So shake it off, just like Steven's been doing the whole time. Shake it off, nice and smooth. Nothing crazy, nothing vigorous, just nice and light. Blasting yourself with oxygen to help you flush the lactic acid to recoup that energy you just wasted. Uh, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do push-ups. All right, you're only limited to your creativity so you can do any type of push-ups you want. I'm gonna be demonstrating several different ones. I might not be explaining them, but as long as you can see, you can try them out for yourself and then eventually master it and try all of them as you're doing it, just like I do, or you can just stick to one. And then the next day, stick to a different one, stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We already rested too long. You don't wanna rest more than, more than uh, 25, 30 seconds or so. That's too much. You wanna keep going, going, going to make it uh, uh, cardio, basically to add the aerobic component. All right, here we go, get ready, and here's one way. All right, and you just keep going. You're gonna go for about 30 seconds or so. All right, you can do a uh, bilateral one where you do one high, one low, keep switching it. All right, you can uh, work your hand and eye coordination, throw it to the side, throw it to the side. All right, timing as well. While you're being somewhat chaotic, moving, moving, moving. All right, you can go step on it. All right, for elevated. And these are hard because the ball moves around. You gotta keep your core nice and tight. So just keep moving, keep switching out, different types. That way you're hitting every muscle fiber within those chest, within those pectoral muscles. There's many, many fibers. We're almost done. Keep pushing yourself. If you have to, 
There's no shame. Do them in your knees. As long as you keep moving, that's all that matters. All right, if you stop moving, then you should be ashamed of yourself. <sighs> We're almost done. Keep fighting it. The fight will be worth it. Keep fighting it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <sighs> All right, right now, this is, we're obviously pushing ourselves more towards the MMA slash boxing conditioning type of method. Just because you're not a boxer or a martial artist doesn't mean you can't try this. You only get out of what you put into it, so work at your own pace. Go nice and light, like I said. I've done them on my knees before because I'm so freaking exhausted, but I do not want to stop, so I just keep moving in my knees, on my knees, but I still keep moving, moving, moving. Doesn't matter what the form looks like at that point, because we're working endurance, stamina. All right, so you guys have break long enough. I still need a little bit of break, but let's go ahead and grab the weight again. Now we're gonna use a little bit of glutes, a little bit of quad, a lot of core, a little bit of biceps and chest muscles for the most part. All right, so we're gonna do a squat with the ball thrust to the air. All right, so what it is is you're gonna thrust your chest all right, you're gonna go to the ground, see how I'm squatting, all right? Uh, you can see the side of you over here, all right, you get his butt, your butt needs to be basically almost parallel to, the, to your knees. Parallel, your thigh should be parallel to the ground. That's the proper squat, all right? You don't wanna be wide either because all the load is going down your ligaments. You don't wanna be too close, all the load is going down bad ligaments. So you wanna be shoulder width apart, that way all the load goes down in between your bones, safe as possible. Here we go, so again, chest, down to the ground, chest up. Notice how when the ball is going in, you're curling it, all right? When you're thrusting it up in the air, it's chest muscles. So go ahead, get going. Go down smooth and explode up. Take your time on the down to load up, but don't pause. You want to mimic the heartbeat. If a heartbeat pauses or stops, you're in big trouble. Same with this. You want to time it ahead of time, work on the timing. Try to remember the sequence. That way you work out your brain as well. Oh, we're almost done. And five, four, three, two, one. I don't know if you can hear, I'm sure you can. Hear my breathing, I'm always making a rhythm. Whether it's breathing or ha, 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 doesn't matter. All right, that cadence that is happening with our breathing will help you get lost in the breathing and not in the burn of the lactic acid. That way you'll be able to beat lactic acid. So, don't forget, don't stand still. As you can see back there, he's been doing it. All right, you don't want to stand still. Remember the water hose effect. You want to flush that lactic acid. Don't let it sit in one spot. All right. Now we're going to modify the same one again. Now we're going to erase the thrust. We're just going to explode, explode, explode up. All right, so there's going to be a lot of core, mainly glutes on this one. All right, so get ready, get set. He's going to squat down, thrust up. Huh. Rapid, all right? Rapid does not mean fast. Rapid is referring to the muscle contractions. Huh. You want to activate them and deactivate them quickly, rapidly. Huh. But you want to get full range of motion. Huh. So you can get nice, Repetition, nice range of motion, 